guys bat check jw here um i did a little uh, dvd shopping today and uh, i'll tell you a little bit about this this is a really wacky movie i remember way back uh vhs days i remember renting this thing from blockbuster the original uh, cover of this used to actually be his uh, head and an axe splitting it down and his head opening up. i know kind of gruesome but that's the kind of wacky films i like yes you did see the price tag on this whopper um I'll tell you what I did. I actually traded in um, a bunch of uh, DVDs that I had acquired over time of going to pawn shops and buying DVDs out of pawn shops for like 50 cents. And when they're that cheap, uh, you kind of take chances on a lot of them that you haven't seen. But so the cool part about that is, you know, you take in, I took in about $5 or so worth of DVDs that I paid 50 cents a pop for, uh, about five bucks worth. Um, and, you know, when you add that up, that's a, a good whopper of amount of the uh, DVDs, you know, about 10 DVDs worth. And I got $22 in credit. Uh, this is from a place called Zia Records. So I got $22 in credit, plus I had filled out the little uh, um, card that gives you 20% off. So I paid out of my own pocket a whopping $2 for this DVD. I think it was a heck of a score for that kind of a price. Um, so enough of me bragging about me stealing this thing for 2 bucks. Uh, on Amazon, I, if I remember right, this thing is like $50. It's like a three disc set or something, but this movie is came out in the nineties. Absolutely a total whack job of a of a flick. So let's go ahead and open it up. And uh, I wanted to open it on camera because I wasn't sure what to expect with this kind of a special edition. Uh, always wonder about what the uh, what the special edition would be. It looks like it's got two different uh, cuts of the movie. I think it's a three disc set because it is a rather thick case. Sorry about the glare. That's the company right there that put it out. Arrow. Now, let's open it up. We got a cool book. Booklet. Oh, and you know what? I already can see what they've done here, which is really cool. Um, again, this is why I wanted to open it up on camera. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I'm seeing this for the very first time with you guys. So, um, I know. <laughs> that Jack... Why are you into this stuff? It's just, to me, I love these old school horror splatter flicks. So it's, that's the guy in the hospital. Oh, she's a vampire. We've got the big devilish guy. So <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so here's the discs. Very cool. And I see what they did and I'm so happy that they did that. No, oh man. Ah, uh, I thought it was going to be the cover with the axe going through his head. They do that. Uh, a lot of times they do that. They they will put the original cover on the reverse side. That is not the cover I remember. I remember the, the cheesy cover of the, the axe splitting the head. That's too bad. I was really hoping that that was going to be... Yeah, there's not two of them or something in there, but um, a lot of these, they, they include two different ones. Hmm. Oh, well, ah, that's one thing I must say, come on with the, this company, you know, they should have done a little bit more homework about the old VHS tape. Right. Still cool. Uh, I still enjoy the movie a lot. Uh, I don't know why, but a lot of these things become collectible and become rare in a sense. So. That's kind of neat. I like this booklet. They they did uh, do a pretty cool presentation of it. Let's see. We have. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a throwback to the '80s, of the back when the effects were effects. They weren't uh, CGI or anything like that. The original cut, and then looks like they have an extended cut that's a few minutes longer. Interesting. So. Really cool, interesting film. If you're into splatter films, this is definitely one to check out if you have not. If you're not into splatter films, do not watch this movie. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Batjack JW. I just wanted to open that up on camera. The Evil Ed Flick.